to the Figma best practices series. On the last episode, we saw how we can start a new design file from scratch and how to build our first component, a button. If you haven't watched episode one, I would suggest you to catch up with it before watching this episode. Now on this episode, we are going to start creating some component sets such as open text field, a password field, a dropdown field, or even a date selector. Let's begin. So let's make our first field, in which case it will be the open text field. So we can go by adding our first frame. Then second thing we want to do is add the auto layout, go with horizontal layout, add eight pixels of spacing, 16 pixels padding from the sides and 16 pixels padding from top to bottom. And then let's align it to the left center and give it a fixed height of 48 pixels fixed width of 200 pixels let's go with that and now we have the frame that is ready to take our text inside in which case let's start with some example text like type here and then what we want to do is give our text some styling in which case we had open sans we make in this case we want to make our body text so we are good to stay with 14 and regular uh, we do want to reduce this a slightly bit uh, to 120 percent and let's do give this a styling of body text let's go with body 14 and create style so now we have the style as well for our body and it will be the text style that we are going to be using for in this case our forms our fields so let's go and drag and drop the text that we just created inside the frame and then what we want to do is create the component. Let's name the component to open text field. And that's it. We have our first component that is called open text field. In this case, it could be used for forms when someone wants to write something, type something inside, whatever it might be. And in which case we do know that there could be various states of this component so let's go by creating those states so what we want to do is create a variant and we keep this as default and to create this as default state for example when a user hasn't clicked inside yet maybe we want this to be a little bit grayed out so let's do 60 percent opacity here then what we want to do is create the active state when someone is typing inside so active what I'm going to do here is keep it as black and then add the line inside. That's kind of how I like to show that this field is active, especially when it comes to uh, open text fields. And then what we want to do is show some value that there is some value inside there. So create another variant and name it value and write an example here literally write an example and then another state that is also possible to have is a disabled state it's good to keep in mind what are the possibilities of seeing this text field as and let's name this disabled and how does a disabled state look like perhaps something like a gray color let's go with something like that a little bit gray and then let's gray this out a little bit and that's it we have our full set of our open text field all the possible states and now we want to create our second field in this case we want to create a password field so what we can do is go on assets 
drag and drop our open text field if you don't see it here you can just search for open text field it will show up here drag and drop it and what you want to do next is just detach instance and for a password for example what you want to think is that you will probably have uh, more icons inside here so what you want to do is add the visibility icon so you want to drag and drop the visibility icon right here and for a password you want the visibility icon to be fixed aligned to the left to the right so in which case to do that you want to go on the more here and then spacing mode and then click on space between and you can see now that the visibility icon has aligned to the right now what you want to do is also write something here like password so you you have your password field as an example name this frame as password and there you have it you have the first password field and we want to create this as a component and we have our first component of a password field and because this is not active what we want to do is match the icons color to the text so let's make this brandless again and then let's gray this out a little bit as well and there we have our default state and now on to create our different states let's create a variant we want our active state and let's add the line inside here as an active state we want the opacity here to be more so we want to bring it to 100 percent because this is more likely to be the active state more realistic and we want to do the same thing for the icon and there we have it we have named it into active and we have our active state now we want to create the value state and let's do password one two three this is just an example password so we have value and what we want to do as well with password uh, might be another variant is the hidden password so let's just do hidden in which case we want to add some asterisks here uh, on the value inside and we want to change this to visibility off so we have the hidden password state now as well and we also want to do the disabled state more realistically going to be the hidden password that will be disabled so let's do disabled so let's save this color if we want to use the same color here let's save it as disabled we will go to how we create color sets later on on the series but for now let's stay as as this as name is disabled and what we want to do is give it go here on fill you can see here now we we can find the same color here let's give it this color let's gray those out again 60 down to 60 percent opacity and there we have it now we have our password field and now to create our third component set a drop down list this time we will get our password component and we will recreate it there we go and then recreate it again and one more time to represent all the states so we want to make this active then we want to make this value and we want to make this disabled so now we have all the possible states that we could have for a drop down so we want to distribute them and detach our the instance in which case we have detached them from being a component and then what we can do is select them all again 
and go here again on where we create a component but drop down this list little list here and we want to create a component set so now we can see we have successfully created a component set for all the possible states that we could have as a drop down uh, but we see that we have some issues with some of the variants perhaps having the same values or the same names so first what you want to do is rename this into drop down let's do drop down field nice so our component our master component is called drop down field so we have this default it's fine let's keep it as default and then let's name this as active let's name this with value and let's rename this to disabled so now if you click out and click back in you can see that it has successfully resolved all the issues that we had inside and now to make this look actually like a drop down field let's go by first of all writing something more likely to be a drop down list so something like sort by then you want to select this icon as well and where you can see visibility here is a, per a place where you can actually go and swap this instance so what you want to do is swap this icon with a drop down icon so you can search by drop down you can see here an arrow drop down icon this is the one i want to use for my drop down list so let's select this and we see that it has swap this instance of an icon successfully with the right colors and the right opacity that i wanted them to be in as well and now this is fine i don't need to change anything here on the active state because this is what i want to have as value but what i want to add again is the instance again so let's do the same thing for the rest of the icons inside in this case on a drop down list i want to think when i'm drop down list is active when i am typing inside it's more likely to be actually dropped down so uh, it's more likely to see an arrow that is pointing upwards so i want to add this one inside and then i want to do the same thing for the active state so with the, the state with the value so let's do sort by alphabetical for example and we want to add the same uh, arrow here again so let's go by drop down drop down up that's the one we want and that's it now on to our disabled state let's say our disabled state is no one has typed inside so again sort by and drop down and there we have it we have successfully created a drop down field and now let's create our last field for today which will be the date field and let's go again with recreating uh, one of the other fields that have an icon inside so let's select either sort by or password so well, in this case i will just go with the sort by and do the same thing again so duplicate this a few times four times let's select the different states that we could possibly have we have the active and we have the value and we have the disabled state then select them all again detach the instance then create the component set rename this to date field and rename the 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 variants inside so let's give it a active state then let's give this a value state and let's give this a disabled state so there we have it we have a full set of our date component and let's go with doing something like a date value inside here that is not active yet so let's go with a universal perhaps a guideline so in which case it's year first month after and day last and to make it look more of a date selector we want to add a calendar kind of thing here 
So let's add a calendar icon, swap this instance with a calendar. We don't want, yep, let's go with this calendar today. And then let's add this one as a calendar as well. Let's add, swap this one with a calendar as well. And write an example of 2023. And let's say it's the 5th of March. And let's make this disabled as well. So again, the same thing. Month and day. And there we have it. Last thing, calendar. And that's it. We have successfully created the four component sets. And that was the end of the second episode. And if you liked it, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and keep track of more episodes to come. And if you found this episode useful, please feel free to share around and yeah, take care. Oh, 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 oh,